Hey guys, what's cracking? Godsman here, coming back at you with episode 11 of the Will Dress Card Fight Season 3 Woo! anime. And we're on to the fight. The fight. It's not the season finale. No, 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 no. But in my heart, it might as well be. We've got the full blast <laughs> episode. It is happy full blast Friday. I am ready. My body is ready. My soul is ready. And with me, of course, because how could he miss this event, this glorious event, is Naps Coon. How are we doing? Yeah, hello. I am excited for this. Any predictions, Josh? Uh, well, okay. Now, I, I, I've been okay with some of these predictions. So I had the foresight, right? You know, I 5D chest it. And I put my theory effects ahead of time on a youtube post and what that consisted of you is check that out prime uh prime <laughs> uh, yeah I'll, you guys can go check that out i'm not gonna take time from this video to go check that out because that would just be uh weird in my opinion um i don't want to go and self-promote like that so uh but the basics <laughs> of it is copying the effect of other revolt forms in the soul right uh especially if you don't need a soul blast them you just copy them when you write them or uh alternatively i didn't write this in but it could also just get effects depending on what they have in the soul and like it, they just it's like pseudo effects like oh for instance you have a gust you get a drive or stuff like that right it could be like that as well i just went with copy but anything in that ballpark is my primary prediction as for what it could do mm -hmm. on top of that i thought of restands and damage pings things like that so those could happen i'm less confident i'm just most confident in it's going to gain effects of different revolve forms based on the revolve forms you have in the soul and really if it even does that It'll be cool. And I think that if it <laughs> is worthy, we'll probably have to make our decks based around getting revolve forms into soul. Because if it's what I think it's gonna be, we might want to turbo that. Because as long as there's not really a restriction, we might be able to like get all three revolve forms, like all three effects. But I just don't know if it's going to have some secondary like sentinel restrict by soul blasting through revolve forms or whatever the frick. It could be any of that. Do you have any predictions? I guess this is the part where you're gonna bring up your <laughs> rear guard restand idea. Um, well, all I was gonna say is I just want something that can restand in rear guard because I want to use Filt and Sequana in the same turn. Damn it. <laughs> Truly, I, I am a simple creature. All right, I do not need much. But uh, <laughs> depending on how this goes, uh, this this might still de decide one or the other. Because if it gives like a lot of power or something, like let's say for instance, it's some ridiculous uh referee array type thing where it just gains a ton of power or maybe like leonor would be a more apt example then maybe you don't need uh Special. you don't need to fill at that point or alternatively um you might actually want sequana if you want more drive pressure what's going on you could also uh grant the front row power based on how many revolve forms there are in your drop and in your soul oh maybe oh i mean i guess you could go there for that there's, there's a lot of theories but needless to say we're super hyped I can't wait to see what it does. I can't wait to see Rika finally get his comeuppance against this lady because, oh my god, Sophie has been creepy, dommy, mommy, bully, wooly kind of hoe, and I Woo! need to see her go down. And I know I'm not the only one. Hey, hey, hey! Vanguard <laughs> I will say, there's no doubt in our minds that Raika wins because of how they set it up. They need to win just to give you a chance to fight Gui. <laughs> Which, he deserves it. It's cool that he managed to come back and finally get his opportunity, man. I, I think he's done a lot of growth as a character. Especially since, you know, like, again, the uniforms aren't even, like, entirely incorrect, man. Like, I think that their whole idea of an efficient, effective way of style that's based on results and doing good, I like that idea, right? I think uniforms are correct. It's just that when you make clones out of everyone, you just get rid of individualism and stuff. The Prince of Fear. <laughs> the Prince of Fear is funny. Equations? That's pretty accurate. Oh, I guess it's like, I guess equations mean like her predictions, okay, that's cool. Ah, yeah, she makes a point, that's cool. It really comes down to this, don't it? <laughs> oh, I mean, no pressure. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> 
Man, I can't wait to see her break. Oh! Look at all those cakes, right? Damn! Oh man, she, uh, I, I just have to say, she definitely has sexual predator energy. She, she so Woo. does, man. I, there's no going around that. The buff. Zangaro. All right, let's go. Holy shit, they skipped the opening. How did you do that, Josh? The magic Editing, shut up. <laughs> this, this joke is brought to you by repetitiveness. Okay, you go first. Well, she's fine with that. She plays freaking this. I wish you want to bet that she soul charges uh, crit off ride line. Ooh. I mean, it's almost guaranteed. Mm. Raikai is swearing that his ass is only for Michu to dominate. Call to my hand. <laughs> I mean, sure, you could say it like that. Oh, guards are crit. Well, conveniently gonna be he a drop. Soul charge too. He said too. the same thing in the, the round one of Sophie Lopez is like that. He said, I call Gus Ah, okay, she, she did soul charge a, a crit through there. I don't already. Got two crits in there. Okay. Man, you still play painkillers. That might actually be a little bit dangerous though if, uh, if you're trying to like accumulate soul blasts. ハイボクへの恐怖もない。ユニフォーマーズの未来はおろか。バンガードの行く末にすら興味がない。いいクラウン。どうでもいいんでしょ。全て。あ、クラウニーパワー。That's so Nice reuse animation there. Let's see if we get a new car or something. Ooh. <gasps> new card, new card. Oh, she'll get it. That's probably double R. Yeah, oh! you might be right, Josh. <laughs> yeah, okay, you can accumulate. Uh, oh, man, so you can put a revolt form from like the deck into the soul. I wonder if there's a cost to that. If that's free, that's nuts. Okay, it definitely well, needs revolt forms point. in the soul then. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir! I'm happy because uh, Joel Brick just got a buff. <laughs> no. Yes! Oh, yeah, now you mentioned it. I guess uh, Joel Brick can get procced early if you use this. If you use it that way, I wouldn't. Oh, hey, Nabs, Nabs, he's doing it! He's devastating first! That's a winning strategy! Yes! He doesn't gust first! His RNG finally didn't fucking move <laughs> Oh, we got it. Oh, you're not gonna show us what you got there, bro? Well, at least we know it's a grade one. Probably... Oh. Maybe like Wayward or Spill. Or maybe a new great one double R. Because we have one more. Mm. Okay, good attacks. Accumulated three damage on her and got a lot more hand. Uh, uh, we have a word for people like you in Japan. It's called disingenuous. Oh my god, why are you calling yourself disingenuous, Josh? What <laughs> uh, up? <laughs> Sup, Mr. Dirty? You causing more problems in the world? Everything is boring to her. <laughs><笑><笑> ケッキョクカワキを癒せなかった。誰も私に届かない。私の世界を覆すことなんて。私の単。Well, <笑> Oh, I like that pick there. Uh, I expect good animation for this episode, by the way. If they gave us so much good animation in their first fight, 
the third fight's gonna definitely get him up. Ooh. Damn, that looks cool. Just gotta say it. I, all, ooh, new card. Okay. You always like Astroya Unica more than Biko Mask. Is what you're Thank really you for say. completing that. You're right. <laughs> Wait, all I saw is that it drew a card, but it does more, right? I mean, this is a new card. Huh. Maybe there's something we're not knowing yet. Jesus. That card is a victim. Yeah, that card always gets popped, bro. Everyone knows about its 5k shield. Oh, he won't, because he's going to win. Oh, God. Nice. It's funny because you did that same exact thing in the Vivashi fight. <laughs> Josh, yep. <it's> so <laughs> I mean, that's that's when you play this deck. Ew. Draw triggers in Unica? No. Play fronts. Better for attack patterns. But yeah, I did the same thing. Huh? I mean, hey, you got to be in character, right? <laughs> nice. Defensive. Let's go. Let's go. Gaming. Any power up? Yeah, hmm. What's up with that? I mean, he got a 53. Card. He got a 53 there. Okay. You are a very hard one. Maybe it's like a misery wing for her deck where it gets 5k for every bounce. Yeah, I'm not holding my breath for that. <laughs> huh? Hey. Okay. Hey, hey, I was just talking about that. Yo. Bro, I was just talking about that, though. We are in sync. That's just simplistic, lady. That's too simplistic, lady. Oh man, bro be simping. Okay. My booty is only for him. <laughs> and that fighter is you. Surprised Damn, now that's a leader right there. I like that. Yeah, he's inspiring you to not hate on his character. Nice. Oh, alright, damn. Next turn. Ooh. Nice music. That's new. Ah, spilt still. Alright. Damn. Oh. If it wasn't for Fergosa over there, you'd think he was still playing his deck from last season. <laughs> that is a good trigger. Okay. Is he gonna become a diamond? Nice. Let's go. Just, yep. Damn. Between that and freaking spelt there, that is just begging for a goddamn PG. Oh, that is so getting PG, bro. Yeah, there's the PG. Man, bro, stop calling this boy a dog. Disrespect. You're right, he's a bitch. Damn, she's so unaffected by everything he does. He's doing good, though. Yeah, he, he, he's getting there. He just needs to survive this next turn. If he can survive, then he might be able to break through. Let's see, so he's accumulated Tempest, Zest, and Gust in the Soul now. So he's got Full Blast next turn, whatever it does. 
<laughs> is, is Sophie commenting on how like fast and aggressive the format is? Does she understand that standard has become too quick? <laughs> She's like, you couldn't kill on turn four? Die. <laughs> yes, sir! You are? A fighter! Oh, back to their first fight. He was talking a lot about that. Damn. He's, uh, being shook by this. Oh, god damn it. Oh, go. She be lusting, bro. That's weird. Ah! Yes! Crazy expressions. My favorite expressions. <laughs> it's so relatable. The way he just grits. He just grits his teeth, right? He just grits and bears it as the opponent just does all these different skills and gets, like, huge power. <laughs> Come on, bro. Use your three PGs in hand. Thank you. She hits six, bro? Woo! Damn. I hate her, but that's impressive. However, that does mean that Raika can reset to the fast. Yeah, she didn't play the order to give a crit, so this thing doesn't have a crit. Or maybe not. She she just put a card back on top, bro. Mm, I don't know. No guard, Raika. Raika, no guard. Nah, guard it. Don't trust it. You gotta guard. Not guarding his weakness. She's gonna capitalize. Come on, perfect guard, man. Perfect guard. Yeah! Uh, Good! That's exactly what we need to do. She's gonna get a crit. Dang it. Yeah. Oh, Boss to check it. Another crit? Oh, that's, that's ugly. There you go. Oh, that's what it was. That's okay. Full blast to break through that. No trigger. Come on. Uh, assuming that it copies Zest, uh, that means yeah, full blast can be through that. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the crit! So. That's your 7th one. Of crap. He's of crap. And that's assuming she doesn't have another one in the hands. That the over trigger. Yes! Nice! <laughs> Damn, you called that over trigger. Not bad. <laughs> that's the Rika classic, though. He do be liking the guard of his OTs. <laughs> She's going crazy, bro. You see, this is the breakdown that I wanted more of with uh, freaking Mustn't Worry. Damn, she's smiling though. She's enjoying herself. No control. Oh, man. Top deck that persona, right, bro? Top deck persona and the top deck full blast. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, he just scaled her right now. Huh. Chichi looks kind of cute right now. Not gonna lie. I guess there's something, <laughs> there's something uh, adorable about I'm glad. it. I'm glad you're finally uh, seeing it. <laughs> oh, snap. Whoa, okay. Ah, uh, but I guess I can see it. She's finally enjoying the fight. She's not being indifferent. You have Bro. a lot of wisdom for a teenager. Bro, we get genuine smiles from both Sophie and Raika. Good days, good days. That's two good days. That's shit. <laughs> Shut up. Your feeling ain't good either. Man. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't oh. say a disaster, but damn, if you say so. Yamahuta. No break. Oh. oh, just gas. Wait, wait. No, he's gonna call it. He's gonna call it. Yes. Yeah! He is indeed a youth bird player. We call our revolt forms in times of emergencies. <laughs> it's time to pull the RFD and drive check your full blast, bro. I'm so proud. Oh, she intercept. That's one to pass. Oh, no, two to pass. Two to, yeah, it's not a, it's not a persona. Mm. Mm. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on, baby. Show me. Show me his glorious form. 
Drive it to. Drive to. There it is. There it is. Use the back if revolve one. Oh, blast or whatever, whatever. Can overcome yourself, you shall. You better be grateful to you, you bitch. Oh, he he redid the he redid the thing. Nice. The heavens, the stars. It's time to shoot them down. Damn. You know they actually look kind of similar. They got like pale complexions and eye patches and stuff. Okay, okay, what does it do? Literally... Crit? Dri oh, so it's getting different skills. 15,000 power! Woo! That's, that's Persona Plus! Is that 5k for every revolt form in the soul, or is that just 15 static? I have no idea, but their colors are literally a reverse of each other. White wow. clothing, black hair. White hair, black clothing. It's, they're both beautiful. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the animation I wanted to see, bro. Mm, this looking clean, homie. That's a one pass. Oh yeah. Ah, kind of giving me of a show machine no more vibe. Come on, Tri go, draw trigger, and it breaks through. Ah, uh, he plays rainbow. That's funny. <laughs> I don't agree with rainbow. You're gonna deck out with rainbow. Well, maybe he's just that good. You know why did he deny? Wait, him? <laughs> hold up a second. I just realized something. But where's where's breaking the rock? Where's my rock? I have no idea. Why didn't they play? Huh. Yeah, game over. Anime finish. Okay, that was awesome. That was. I need to see the. I need to see the check out my card to see the specifics though. What were you saying, man? That was oddly anticlimactic. Uh, well, not anticlimactic, just that not as hype as I thought you'd be. Yeah, I thought they were gonna drag it out a little bit more. Oh, also, uh, we can also. Oh, that's cute. So it gets, it gets uh, an effect for every revolve from in Soul, I think, because uh, be even though he didn't personal right. Sure, rule of cool, I guess. Maybe. Damn. Maybe. <laughs> I guess there is a little bit of salvation for her in a way, but only in a way. <laughs> All right. Wouldn't it be uh, look, funny, man? They're gonna like, man, it'd be funny if they're like, hey, Gui, time to fight. They're like, who's my opponent? It'd be funny if like, everyone just silently nods and says, you, you. <laughs> oh, I bet you are, bro. All that shouting crap. That, that was an emotional fight for this, dude. I'm proud. <laughs> Perfect, so. Come on. Oh, yeah, okay, come on. Everyone nod. Nod at the same time. Okay. Okay, so they don't all like nod or grab it. So that's funny. Everyone just knows. They just know. You do it. Okay, show me my bouncing, beautiful baby boy. Whoa, why are you so angry, bro? He's, he's tired, that's why. <laughs> okay, you can see the bullet points there. Mm. Remember that dude that predicted us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Why? That's funny. Alright, well, it's time for the finale. Oh, the vi why is she wearing why is everyone wearing visors oh i guess they just want to like see a, a projection oh they need to see because, Gui, i guess yeah because it's virtual reality oh that's fair okay that's cool detail all right that uh okay. that was the fight um okay so oh. let me let, let me just say straight up that i think that's a pretty cool effect now 
I, I can imagine, I of course, I didn't check out the car on Reddit or anything like that, and I told everyone not to spoil me, so I don't know what, like, the general public's predictions on it is. I can see where some people are disappointed with it, though, because it doesn't have some wild multi-attack, it doesn't have some sentinel or strike, it doesn't have, say, like, any really big bombastic thing, and you've got to have all three revolve forms in the soul in order to get the 15,000 power, which means you've got to play Zest. You've got to play Zest, you got to see him along with the Gust and the Tempest. But that new grade two uh fergosa can put them from the main deck to the soul so it seems somewhat feasible to get that by turn four at least especially because you can also play drilling angel drilling angel if you pitch a removal form you can throw it right back into soul you can you can build up for that hell if you really high roll it might even be possible to get it going as soon as turn three because i don't detect the opponent being at grade three or greater for any of its effects to be live. So you can use this even if you're going first and on turn three. But that would be an extreme high roll, and I can see why most people don't do it. This is where this gets interesting, right? Because uh, it seems to me, based on how it does it, this is a superior version of the respective revolve forms in some way or another. Now, it doesn't have the advantage of Tempest, but it does have the ability to bot deck any rear guard that's important any rear guard it can bot deck of your choice so you have more uh picking power that way when it comes to gust mm -hmm. you get the drive but you don't discard now i know that means no wayward combos but just do that during the main phase you don't you don't discard mean that is straight up a plus in that regard and then when it comes to zest you don't need to wait for persona to get the critical zest and as long as you have three that 15 goes the entire front row so you're playing zest plus with it so by combining them you're not just getting three for one in a sense. You're also able to get the best of their effects in a way. The only exception being you don't get the Tempest uh, top two in hand. And I think that was just because they don't want to make it super duper nutty. But aside from that, I like how they've taken away certain detracting factors from their respective skills in order to purify them and make them more powerful. So that's cool. Uh, but it is going to be a little bit hard to set up, and you're going to need to make a deck a little bit more dedicated to it if you want to do it. So it's not a seamless transition into a lot of decks the way that something like Ignis or Ravash was. Those are a lot easier to put into respective decks. This, not so much. You're going to have to do some work for it. But once you have some work for it, what I like is you can have the revolt forms in the soul, and they stay in the soul. They just stay. You don't soul blast them out. A lot of people thought you would soul blast them out. You don't. So as long as you have one in each, you're good. The rest of the game, you will literally just do a full blast. Maybe a Tempest you need card advantage, but aside from that, you just full blast every turn, baby. And he's going to get all those skills every single time. And it stacks with the Persona, so you can have 25k to the front row. That's pretty damn powerful. Overall, I think it's a little bit high maintenance, and I can see... I think a lot of people presume that, yeah, even though a lot of the other cards, uh, similarly, like Vivage, uh, Ignis, where I brought those two up, uh, you can also bring up things like Richter, right? We we saw that they were insane. I think people could predict that this wasn't going to be quite as insane because Youth Perk was already higher as, at its starting point, so they didn't want to just like make it go astronomically through the roof. But even <laughs> still, this is a cool boost. This is a cool boost, and if you deck build correctly, which is the main challenge, I think this is going to be not just a more powerful Youthburg deck, it's going to be a more fun to play Youthburg deck, and that's my TED Talk. Finally, Nabs, you get your turn. <laughs> All I gotta say is, I called it, Josh. So, not not the recent thing, just that this, I told you in, a, in an often conversation that we shouldn't presume anything from Bradjul, and that Youthburg is probably going to be technically the worst of the trade that is not to say it's bad of course <laughs> right right i think a lot of us uh a, a, like a, a few of us in like our own group was talking about that too and it makes sense right it, but what they did is they did do something like more flavorful and i think it's got a lot of flavor and it's cool it's going to be super fun to play uh -oh. i'm not going to play it right away though now and here's two reasons why so you guys are going to be expecting fight nights from youth Burke right now don't expect them yet two reasons one, I'm waiting for Tuesday where uh, Sword of Irene is going to get revealed so that I can do some fight nights with that. That's going to be an epic class between Nirvana and Youthburg. But a second reason. Uh, I, I tend to jump the gun early with decks, and when we get a boss revealed, I'll just play them even if we don't have their support cards with them. Uh, if the boss is already going towards a pre-existing gap, I don't need it. I can just build it, right? This is an exception. That Fergosa is freaking mandatory to make full blast work optimally. 
So I'm hella going to have to wait for that anyway. So once Tuesday starts rolling around, yeah, pretty soon after that, you guys can expect some fight nights with Youth because he is going to get his due. I am so hyped to play him. He may not be the absolute nuts, but I don't want to hear people trashing him because I think he's actually pretty cool and he could definitely improve the deck, but yeah, you've got to know how to play it right, man. That's all I got to say about that. You might want to avoid Reddit then. Reddit then? Yeah. Oh, man. Negative. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, we don't even oh need to good. look at Reddit to assume they're probably going to be negative Nancy's about it, huh? <laughs> you can already feel it. Oh, good. Another card that Josh needs specific cards to be in Seoul that he's going to absolutely wreck me with. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, wait. Wow. Is this a boss? Like is this a boss unit that gets stronger progressively as you build up towards its conditions? my favorite uh okay yeah, so that aside card. let me let me review that's enough of the card review right episode wise yeah. it's cool i think that the fight had really good animation but it ends kind of anticlimactically i tend to like fights that drag on a bit past turn four and this one technically did go past turn four which i like but the the bit with full blast at the end actually felt kind of rushed we didn't get to hear breaking the rock which if i was to try and play devil's advocate i would assume that this is because of rika's development right breaking the rock is kind of a vicious song but rika in this point in the series he's not in that mindset he's grown he's in more of a leadership position he's trying to be inspiration for the next generation and overcome his own barriers right so i don't think he has the same sweaty intense personality from back then he has some of it don't get me wrong he's still constantly training he still believes in results but it doesn't have that aggression that that almost sort of weird uh bloodlust in a way that he used to have and so maybe they did away with the song in that regard but it still kind of is sad because all of us wanted you know in our fanboy minds to hear it playing as unica gets epically destroyed by full blast so we didn't get that and it seemed like it went by kind of quickly there at that but the highlight is the character bits here a lot of cool animation the voice acting is top notch and sophie kind of surprised me in this fight i didn't expect her to be so oddly pure in a way uh i thought she was going to be a lot more sadistic than she turned out to be it turns out she was a lot less sadistic and a lot more i suppose aloof would be the proper word for it and she even seemed kind of cute by the end which was totally taking me a surprise I never thought i'd admit that on screen but she was kind of being Join a little me. bit adorable at the end so there might be Join hope me, for her character yet yeah, like straight up I, I think it is she's got to drop the weird cougar vibe she gives me whenever she's around this boy but aside from that me, she, it seemed like she kind of improved in my eyes as a character so that's cool and rika is obviously you know the shiznit in my opinion like my favorite character in will just aside from donji and toya <laughs> like straight up man i love those guys uh i hear you saying join you in the background it's not like that bro i'm i'm just saying it join was me. a cute episode for her that's all all right yeah i know but join me bro we can love a side of sophie we can both take a side we can also love both but you know, you're not gonna do that but i am let's go come on josh join me join me join me <laughs> hey, i'll join you in giving the final thoughts in this video you got anything else to add here because i think i've gave my ted talk uh well no that this is this was a you episode and uh we shall end it on that note then so yep. if you guys enjoyed this <laughs> no episode, yo no if it's a me watch. episode then i end the episode quiet you're you're bad at outro no, so if you did like times. this episode you then go ahead and times. check out the other episodes prior in the playlist here as you can see they're so kindly showing us episode 10 so 1 through 10 is what came before check it out if this is the first one that you've hopped in on i'm not sure why but so be it but you know basically i'm morally obligated to bring that up at the end of all of these watch along Aside from that, if you're looking for other kinds of Maybe Vanguard content, then I got all sorts of them. Tier list, discussions, top tens, fight nights, the whole shebang. Check them out in my channel down below. And if you like what you see, consider leaving a subscribe and turn on the notification bell for the next time I upload a video. And with that, take care. God bless.